Yo, YouTube people, um, if you have seen my Hampstead Nam video, which you might have seen months ago, or you will see months in time from now, because I have no idea when this stuff comes out, um, you've seen me rock beautifully this amazing blue guitar. That's not blue, what do you call this? It's Kingfisher Blue. It's metallic, so it has that kind of... It might be... It, had, it has something that I yeah, can't describe. It has, it has a metallic element to it, like Lake, Lake Placid Blue has the, uh, you know, a slight metallic. But it's got a bit of green in it, you know, so it's kind of in between. It has a bit of green yeah, in it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. So you were Thomas from, you were Thomas Gray from Gray apostrophe S guitars. No, just Gray guitars. But wouldn't you say they're Gray's guitars? No. Gray. Then I'm saying it wrong. You're going to say Volkswagen's car, do you? A Volkswagen's car. Right. So, um, I just played this. You did. And it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty stunning. Thank you very much. It's a modern guitar. We've yeah. got the we've got the little truss rod wheelie here. Yeah. Hold it so that Harry can get yeah. it. Two-way truss rod. Uh, these I use a lot of roasted quarter sawn maple from Canada. One guy in Canada is a genius. Wait, wait, wait. Keep it there. He, he's got to he's got to do his thing, and it takes yeah. a while. He's British, so he's slow. What do you mean? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. So yeah, so I get this stuff, uh, crazy flamey stuff from uh, Nova Scotia in Canada. The pickups are from Radio Shop. The, uh, it's a small company in Wales that Chris Buck turned me on to. You know Chris? So Chris- Fancy hair man. Yeah, fancy hair man. I made him a guitar and they make his single coil set. Okay. So I did these ages, so I use their singles and that's the Radio Shop classic path kind of thing. And those Radio Shop guys are really no stone unturned vintage nuts so the pickups sound great it's a British bridge it's a wood tone bridge with these new saddles from um, the Highwood guys in Amsterdam so they have these cool uh, notches for the strings to go in so they don't wander around when you tune and they also have that cool thing where it doesn't matter how high the saddles go the, the screws never protrude oh that is really nice and so uh, it, yeah. it, it felt a little bit stiff well I, put, I usually have 11 to 52 on this because it's NAM and it's Americans, I put some tens on it, so usually it feels stiff because it's only got tens pulling in it. But you, but the tuning stability is great. There's, a, if you, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little half moon of metal taken away from behind the screws. So as you bend it down, there's space for it to move into. Harry, it's Harry, hard get to behind the screws. Can you see that? Because he can zoom in quite far. It also sits on a metal plate, a half a mil metal plate. So there's no paint. The contact is super good. And um, it felt like your wiggle stick is shorter than normal. Yeah, I've got a short wiggle stick, but I find that doesn't cause a problem. It's how you use it. Oh, yeah, you know. yeah, so that's, that's cool. But I mean, um, it's sh it's about the same length as the, the, the Gilmore Callahanny ones. But I know. American I, viewers will know. I love the headstock. Thank you. Uh, love locking tuners. Yeah. It's what a modern guitar should be. Yeah, it's got I mean, larger frets. This one, this actual one, I'm not sure I can say it, is it's, it's the Anderton standard model. It's the new one. So we had went for a very simple one volume, one tone thing, and the Chris Buck pickups, and the, uh, the colors, and the bridge. So it's kind of like, this is the standard one. I usually have a three knob version. I would prefer this. Yeah, I mean, the one thing with Strat style guitars, which annoys me coming back from a telly or something, is that little finger volume control thing. So that, so that's great. It, it felt when I played it as if the frets were the tiniest bit scalloped. Um, well, that I roll the fingerboard edges very. I'm not sure you can see that. You might be able to from here. You can. Can you see the slight? And so I roll them, so it feels like you played it for a long time. And I even roll it more around like the fifth and seventh, and so it's like where you're always playing, you know? And that's just one of the things which, I make all these guitars myself, so it's, so it's just me. So that's the kind of thing I can do. It's amazing. Stagger tuners, I mean, uh, what, what brand are the, tu are the tuners? Spursals. They're the only ones I've ever used. They're my favorite ones. This is a stunning instrument. Now, how expensive is this? Well. These Emperor mod, all the guitars are named after butterflies because of the logo. So these are called Emperors. And they start at about uh, 3,000. And I ship them in the Reunion Blues bags, which are the best soft cases I've ever come across. I found them in the London Guitar Show a couple of years ago. And I ship them with Kurt Magnum strings as well, those hand-wound America ones. You tried those? Nope. They're great. They, they, they're, they have a sponginess to them, they're really bright, they last a long time. 
and they, te- they, t- they kind of feel a gauge lighter than they are. So, you know, they, they're fantastic strings. So as a package, I'm really happy with it. This is an amazing guitar. So we can hear this in the uh, Hampstead video from them. Let's hear another one and then uh, yeah. let's, let's get Harry to do some stuff. Okay. This is new for Nam this year. It's the Skipper. So it's a smaller Jazzmaster type guitar. It's much shorter because they're a bit unwieldy, you know. And with a modern kind of feel, the modern kind of things you want on a guitar. Uh, nice cutaways and the all access kind of joint here. Uh, but this one is Bird's Eye Maple, which is nice. D- daring, because usually Bird's Eye Maple necks are known to possibly warp. Well, the, the guy who roasts my necks, I've made, I don't know, 85 guitars or something. And this wood is the most stable wood I've ever used. Um, some big ass dots on there. Show the dots yeah, to Harry. I have the, my dots make up for my small, my short wang bar. Um, but big dots here, so you can see them. Um, I recessed the mastery bridge. That is nice. Because one of the problems with these kind of guitars, which we, we tried to alleviate, was yet the beast, the kind of George Harrison sitar overtone on the on the high string. George Harrison from uh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, um, he's played for a while with um, Pink Floyd. Um, so recessing the bridge, the brake angles improved. So that's we've kind of solved that's gone away. Uh, radio shot pickups again, and these are actually true Jazzmaster pickups. They're not just P90s in a big box, which is um, super annoying. Um, Goto tunes on this one. Um, these knobs are my the, the favourite th- part of the guitar for me. They're made by Anomaly Hardware in the UK. He makes um, killer pickguard surrounds as well. He's an amazing guy. Uh, Luke White, his name is. So yeah, this is the new one this year, and this is the same kind of price as an Emperor, so um, 3100 that kind of thing. Again, they ship in the Reunion Blues bags. Let me play it. Try this guitar, you'll love it. You hold this. So the old, the NAM police will be on us. And that stays in tune, which is a bonus. Loads of motion on it, up and down. So it's all nice sailors finish, you know, like it should be. Uh, all my guitars go through the Plex machine as well. There's one Plex machine in the UK, and it just happens to be two miles from my house. <laughs> so they all go through that. That's an expensive chord. Oh, 7-Eleven. Like the... Are you sure? It's a 7-Eleven. Major 7, sharp 11. There's notes getting stuck in there. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Must be. It's a new guitar. That'll be fun. That right here, I can stay on. Never need drive. That is delightful. Never do a flat nine like this. Let's go up. So I played two great guitars and two are pretty amazing. Uh, And at that price point, reasonable. I'd like to think so. Yeah. Um, So, wow. Um, Let's find out if we can find out more about them at a later date. But now I'm going to leave the next stuff to Harry who will make a video about stuff, and then uh, we have videos about things.
That, which is always good. Yeah. Things, people, Thank places. Thank you, Thomas. It was great to meet you, man. Delightful. Yeah. I've seen these obviously online, you know, Leanne at the Scott One and many, many other, you know, more important people than us. Never, but, never. Oh. But um, it, it's actually nice to know now why they love them. Yeah. Oh, great. I mean, because I thought you just paying them quite a bit. Do I what? I, I, I thought you just bought these guys, you know. Oh, no, no. Give, no, give, no. Them, give them a grand and it's like, you play no, these guitars, you know. No. It's just um, yeah. so, some, so, so, some loving, maybe? Are you like whoring yourself out to them? Um, no. I, I, I think it's just the quality people, of the guitars, really? Yeah. People just play them and like them. That's. I don't know. What I say. now know why. Awesome. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, Thanks to Harry behind the camera. Thanks to Sophia for helping. Thanks to Dave wherever he is. And uh, and and was at the end. Till the sun goes out. Sun Bowl.